have chosen him Correct. so they have even the needy person also he, they they have so chosen to clapping go i am shraddha and i am going to be your instructor for today may i know your name yeah the show sure. my name is shahid and i am from india uh, yes okay. that's lovely great so how many sessions have you taken shahid i have been taken session i think more than 200 yeah wow uh, that's close a good, to 200 yes. that's a good number lovely so how did you find your journey till here how was it did you find any improvement was that helpful to you how what about your feedback yes absolutely i have uh, improved a lot here actually because of you know earlier i was making a lot of mistake but now i'm making less mistake so yeah i'm i'm develop my confident yes and because you know is uh, with clipping going to take it is not easy to talk believe me yeah because they are so fluent okay and it is not easy uh, you know to whom who belong to hindi medium you know so for them is very difficult so yeah so somehow i am interacting with him and i'm communicate i'm um, i'm communicating with him so i think i have him flow because when i if if i didn't join this application at that time i was thinking i was i i can't do you know i i could not do uh, i could not interact with tutor and i cannot so speak with a them lot of confidence. yes i think yes that is great i would like to congratulate you on such a tremendous achievement it's a great achievement because confidence is the main thing once you gain confidence nothing is impossible for you because i believe have you ever spoken to some uh, foreigners no so far i haven't talked with any foreigner but once you know i will uh, like say, i will uh, improve more i will be competent enough yeah when i will uh, yes confident enough then i will uh, talk with native speaker yeah lovely but you know what you'd be surprised to see that these people they make a lot of grammatical mistakes the formation of the sentences most of the times incorrect but what is it that they can carry it off so well is their confidence so absolutely confidence is what you have already gained now nothing the sky is the limit for you so i wish you Absolutely. so so much of best wishes for your future now we are going to begin with our session now since you already know what the session is going to be about let me know the topic did you go through the session notes no i didn't go to the uh, documents because uh, let me tell you first thing like you have you haven't mentioned anything about your biography you know anything about english so as you like i am forgetting that sentence something but i have remember it only this thing because yesterday i have written your biography and but you didn't mention so may i know why you didn't mention anything about the english like you you should you, you can mention like yes i am the english trainer something like that but oh, you well. something like it, you are you are, you, are, you have written something it it seem like you as motivation uh it, it seemed like you know as something other stuff yeah so, personality yeah. development yeah yes like something you uh, personality you, uh, personality is developed by the way you speak by the way you present yourself so the personality development is one roof under which everything is engrossed we have spoken english in that wherein we we i am a trainer we have personality development also means grooming a person yeah. right so everything comes yeah. under that one tiny word though it looks only personality development and motivation yes motivation is something that helps a person to build the confidence and just now i have given you a tiny little example of how confidence is important right yeah absolutely and that's the reason and personally if i am a if i am a person who speaks good that is the only reason that i am at clapping go that is the first thing the second thing i would not like to tell what i am i would like to show what i am i believe in actions so yes. if you just read my biography you would okay okay so she says this 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 okay no but now when you meet me you have your slate is blank you don't know what i am but when you meet me face to face 
then you start building up an image for me. And I know, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident about it, that the image that is going to be built will be much better than what the biography would have done for me. Don't you think so? <laughs> Absolutely. Because you didn't mention about anything about the English training, but the way you say it, it's very clearly, you know, uh, your English is very clear. And when, when the beginning you said that, uh, you know, that I'm not, uh, I'm aware about uh, my camera. I didn't turn off. So that's very clear. So it's so nice. Yeah, so nice. Thank you so much. I take it as a pleasure. Now we are going to move forward to what our topic is for today. Our topic is yeah, about please. something that is a noble cause, which is charity. What would you like to say about charity? And are you comfortable about talking about charity? Yeah, we can talk about the, the charity, yes. And we can talk about the general thing also, yeah. Okay, so what do you think, what is charity all about? What do you mean by charity in general? Yeah, I think it is a good uh, charity. And uh, I think who uh, needy people, they need uh, some stuff, you know, and uh, we are able to buy, you know, but there are a lot of people who are facing this problem, who didn't have enough money to, you know, to, to, to survive in a healthy life. So for them, you know, we have to do charity, but uh, before the charity, we have to think about where we are, where we are donation our money. They are, they are right or not. Genuine. They are to do or Genuine. they are to do or wrong. Yeah, we have to search in. We have to search, and then we have to do charity. Yeah, it is a good thing charity. I think yes. Charity means uh, charity is a noble cause wherein the needy are served, and as we all yeah. like, be it any religion, be it any religious book. Be it, uh, be it our Quran, be it our Bible, be it our Ramayan, our Gita. Each and everything only talks about one thing and that is being humble and serving the Absolutely. needy people. So this, this is something very important that every person should do. Don't you think so? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yes? you are not visible. Yeah, Absolutely. Am I not visible? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, now you are visible, yes. Okay, okay. So at times, you know, the Zoom, this causes some some glitches wherein, you know, the camera automatically, though I do not turn it off, you will not be able to see me. At times, you'll be able to see me. At times, you might not. I'm apologizing to you beforehand okay. if something like this no. occurs. I would like to apologize for the same. Okay, right. now we we'll just move forward. Now, have you ever heard about this frame this phrase known as charity begins at home. What do you mean by this? Charity begins in home. Yeah, it, it means uh, what I have understand. Like uh, we have to uh, charity in our family, you know, in our family or in uh, in our, what we call in Hindi, khandan. Okay, yes. Can you tell me the khandan in English, what we call? It is our extended family. Khandan is the extended yeah. family. Our family and the extended so, family. Yeah. Uh, so extended family, I mean to say, we have to uh, first charity there, you know, because they are our they are our family members, you know. Mm -hmm. So we have to charity first there because uh, uh, that means is that because they need first, you know. Even we are going outside, first we are reaching outside and then we uh, find the people. So first we have to check our home. Who are like, uh, who who need help? Who need help? Uh, if my brother uh, need, if my if my brother daughter or my brother uh, 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 like a uh, son, uh, did your he needs, uh, your nephew? Fees? Yeah, yeah. Did he pay the fees or not, or something like that? Other what thing, no I, yeah. Did he like uh, facing any uh, Ill, illness? Any so first we have to first we have to think about them. Then we have to go uh, other other person. So that, that the I think that, that the mean absolute, of that is an absolute yeah. noble thought. Absolute noble yeah. thought. The charity begins at homes means exactly what you explain. You should start with your near and dear ones. Before you go he go and help others, why not you help the people who is who are there in your family who are in need of help. It is not always yeah. the people on the road are only the needy ones. You never know 
the person who is in our house, staying under the same shelter, sitting next to you is also in need of help. Right? Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. So and therefore, once you, if you have, if you yes. like, if you donate a money, if you charity other one, and if you don't uh, charity in sitting with you next to you, so when he realizes, when he when he knows, when he will know about about you, so what he would think about? Definitely, he would yes. not think about good. So, so that the conflict will happen. Yeah. Absolutely correct. And one more thing that, you know, comes to my mind, one more phrase, in fact, which is very close to the topic that we are discussing today is having a heart of gold. What do you mean by this? Any guesses? Can you tell me what does it mean? Uh, sorry, what did you say? Please? A, heart, Can you repeat? a heart of gold. Let's say if I say Shahid. A heart of gold. What, is, what do I mean by it? A heart of gold means, I think, uh, you know, your heart is very calm and cool and uh, something like that. It seem like uh, you are helping someone, but you are not, uh, you know, you are not showing him, you know. So I think that's so, the uh, this phrase, person of a golden heart means a person who is very generous and very helpful in nature. Uh, yes. For example, to, to help you better understand in Hindi, I would say, uh, in Hindi, we might say, Bade Dilwala, right? Absolutely, yes, yes. In English, we say, now, in Hindi, I might say, Shahid, Bade Dilwale hai. But in English, I would say, that Shahid, the person who, is, who has a pool. Yeah. Okay, that's the way you say it out all right now let's uh, let's let's understand what it means i'll i'll give you an example i would say shahid donated all his clothes that he had he is he is a person that has a heart of gold yeah did you understand yeah, the content yeah understood yes i hope this example makes how and where this uh, phrase can be used right yeah absolutely yes yeah. And as we have already discussed, charity is an act <laughs> where we give help to those who need it, who are in need. So this is basically a humanitarian ground. It is a humanitarian act that we tend to do. Now, what do you think about? Uh, what do you think about government? So, um, do you think that these governments should do more to help these charities? Mm. Uh, they, I think they, they don't need to charity I think because they have uh, they have you know they have the right you know they have they have the right they have to do this thing you know uh, not the charity because uh, we all who are living you know they are pay, they are paying the tax so if you so they they don't have to write to charity they have to do no, no, you know, no. they have to what do. I meant was what I meant was do you think that this government should do charity? Should they help the needy? That I mean to say, like, uh, I mean to say, like, uh, this should be do, you know, this should be do because uh, not the charity because they have on right, they have, uh, you know, uh, they have because we, we, ha we have chosen him, you know, we have chosen him, but they have even the needy person also he, they they have chosen him they have no, chosen. not only me and you the yeah. needy person also they have chosen so this should be think about them more than us you know uh, I, I mean to say more than us not more than us i mean to say uh, uh, we are, so they have to think about a lot of him you know so then we are not able to do charity if they feel well the government if the government fulfills their you know need, needed thing, so obviously they will no more be needed for anyone. Yeah, that is, that is absolutely correct. What a noble thought you had! Lovely, amazing. I spent a good amount of time with you, and there are a few things that I realized. I loved your confidence. Thank you so much. And I loved the way you presented yourself. It takes a heart of gold to express yourself the way you did. You did a great job. Keep it up. 
and keep on building your vocabulary. You are doing, you are indeed doing well. I want you to continue. Now, how would you continue doing good? Let me give you a tip. This tip is, has helped like 99% of my students and they come back to me just to thank me for the tip that I had given you. So you are going to watch any English movie or any of your favorite web series that you like twice. The first time with subtitles, the second time without subtitles. When you watch it for the first time with subtitles, you get friendly with the word. You understand the word, you know the word, you know the context where the word is used. And when the second time you watch it, you're going to turn off the subtitles you're not going to have any subtitles you're going to listen how that word is pronounced okay you're going to pay attention to the pronunciation and the accent so now you are done with one word you know how it is used you know what it means you know where to use it you know its grammar and you also know its pronunciation so that word automatically gets added to your vocabulary and that adds up to your confidence so this has worked with most of my students and i would love to hear it back again from you that hey you know what shraddha this worked for me as well yeah definitely i will work on it what have you said that and I would like to tell you also one, something about you and literally you are so calm and cool and you know the way you said very slowly slowly you are speaking you know and that learner wants you know really that learner wants and they like you know fluency not only you are speaking like so fast you know that doesn't mean uh, fluently mean like the way you said that and the, the, the way you are speaking so calm and cool way and so nicely you know Really, yeah. thank you so much. So, it's a pleasure, and Shahid, I would like to meet you again with a bundle of confidence added to your confidence that you already possess. Congratulations on doing that, and yes, make it a point that we meet again. Yeah, definitely. Thank you so much. So now, man. before this session ends up abruptly, I would be taking your leave on a very happy and a warm note to see you again very soon. Definitely, yeah. Okay, and it's a lovely meeting with you, man. So pleasant. And we will meet soon. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Yes. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye, Shahid. Bye-bye.